Hello, my name is Sally and I am one of the makeup artists working with Look Fabulous Forever, which is skincare and makeup specifically designed for older faces. Today, as a makeup artist, I would like to share with you some ideas for you becoming your own makeup artist and how to mix makeup and colours to create really lovely, unique, personalised shades just for you. Um, the beauty of makeup is that you can be really creative. Don't just think because you've got two or three colours, you can't mix those together um, to create many, many more shades that you might like, depending on what you're wearing, what mood you're in. So that's what I want to do today, show you a few ways to use your makeup to make it even more creative, even more colours um, for you to, to use. So being your own makeup artist really is what, what we're trying to achieve today and having some fun mixing paint like you would an artist. I have already applied all my skincare and I have applied my three primers, my Smooth Like Silk Face Primer and my Smooth Out Eye Prime and my Never Feather Lip Prime. So I'm gonna get started by showing you how you can mix your base to create the perfect shade and the perfect texture for you. So let me put some clips on and get going. This is a, this is a trick that I do very often myself. Um, at Look Fabulous Rebel, we have a beautiful range of continuous cover foundations and a range of light look beauty balms. Um, the foundations are slightly, slightly heavier in texture. They're still light and they're beautiful on older skin, but they give a little bit more coverage. Um, some ladies prefer a slightly lighter coverage. Um, so you can use the two together to create your own perfect texture, but also to create your own perfect shade. So in the winter, I very often just wear continuous cover foundation in shade two. But when I'm going into winter, when it's um, sort of autumn, I will mix the Continuous Cover Foundation 2 with a little bit of Light Look Beauty Balm in shade 1. In the summer, I sometimes just wear Light Look Beauty Balm, um, or I might just add a little bit of foundation. So just to create the perfect shade and the perfect texture for you. So let me show you what I do. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Continuous Cover in shade 2, and then on my hand, so I'm using my hand like an artist's palette. My hand is clean and dry and oil free, but I'm now adding some of the Light Look Beauty Balm in shade one. And then what I do is add a little bit of the Smooth Light Silk Face Prime, which I have already put all over, but I always like to add a little bit of that if I'm putting on the foundation. I find that it goes on and glides on really, really well if you add a little bit of primer with it too. So I'm now going to take my foundation brush number 10 and I'm going to use this to mix my colours just on my hand. And you can sort of tell by mixing whether you've got the right shade for how you are at the moment. And if you want to, I might try a little bit on the side and think, yeah, yeah, that's going in really well. If it's a little bit light, I might add a tiny bit more of the Light Look Beauty Balm number one, just to get the right shade for me as I am at the moment. So let's go for that. And by using the brush, you can just also make it look flawless. Even though you've mixed the colours together on your hand, you won't know that when you've actually applied them with the brush. You won't, no one will know that you've mixed two products together. And you can just really buff it in well. If you've got the right colour, you shouldn't need to bring it down your neck. Um, it should just blend really well. So that's the first thing you can do, mixing foundation colours, mixing foundation with Light Look Beauty Balm. I've even been known to mix the number 0.5 light look beauty balm with the number one light look beauty balm in the summer to get a, a really nice colour for me as I as I was. So really fun to do that and you can just personalise 
your base. So the next thing I'm going to do is to put some concealer on. And again, sometimes there are areas where I have got pigmentation where I need a slightly darker concealer, but I don't quite want the number three. I like to mix the number three with the number two for those areas. So just gives me, so I'm using my concealer brush number four and you just sort of, you can either mix them on the back of your hand um, or you can just, that's what I usually do, just take a little bit of each one. So that's the number number three and then add a tiny bit of the number two so again using your hand as a palette you can just mix and now i'm going to go back in clean the brush off a little bit and go back in just with the number two under my eyes because i don't want it to be too dark and if i've got a lot of darkness sometimes i even use a little bit of the number one so the next thing I'm going to show you as a makeup artist, um, as a mixer of paint, a mixer of colours, is eyes. I have a, a lot of fun with the No Shimmer eyeshades, mixing, applying one shadow over the top of another shadow to create my own personalised colour. And what I often do, so today I'm wearing, as you can see, I'm wearing a teal top. Um, and we have a beautiful colour called teal green, this one. But I don't want my eyes to be really, really green. I just want to maybe reflect a little bit of the colour that I'm wearing. So what I often do is to use the soft neutrals palette, but then where I've used the taupe, I go over it with a little bit of the colour that I want as my sort of accent colour, like the teal green. So I'll show you, it just makes it look a little bit green, but not really, really obvious. So I'm going to do that today and I'm going to talk about a few other colours that you might want to mix and match on your eyes, um, just for, for fun. I'm going to use the rose gold, the middle one, all over, just to give me a wash of warmth, but very, very natural colour. And now what I'm going to do is to take my eyeshadow brush number nine, a slightly smaller one, and use the taupe, this one, to create a slightly higher socket line, which will lift my eyes. So I could, at this point, have put the teal green there, but I want to show you how by mixing the colours you can just add a bit of the green. And I often use this technique, if I'm wearing navy, I will do exactly what I'm doing now, but I'll use the midnight blue over the taupe, just to create a little bit of blue. Or if I'm wearing greens, I might use a little bit of the forest over the taupe to create a little bit of dark green and so forth. So just adding one of the slightly darker colours, but if you use the taupe underneath, it sort of tones it down a little bit. That's my taupe. And now I'm going to get my beautiful teal green using the same brush, which I've just dusted off a little bit. And putting that where I've put the taupe, this little wind windscreen wiper effect and then a little bit down here so i don't know if you can see it just looks a little bit green a little bit teal but not so bright that it's a really obvious color and if you thought mm, too much just go back in with the taupe and just go over that the other colour that's useful for eyes, if you've used something and it's a little bit dark, you can take the beautiful shade that is cream, this one, and just go over something with a little bit of cream, which will just lighten it a little bit. Um, take the, the sort of, the, if you've gone in too strong. Eyeliners. 
eyeliners. You can mix eyeliners just the same way as you mix your eyeshadows. And I often do that. So if I want a really, really bold look, I will use the soft gray, but then I'll go over it with the dark brown eyeliner just to create a, it's not black, but it's a little bit darker than the gray. It just gives a really nice color. Um, and I thought today I might try something I've not tried, but I'm going to use the soft gray, first of all, So again, you can play around with the colours. You can play around with them on your hand first to see what works well with what. So take a bit of grey and then go over it with a little bit of navy, for example, um, or brown. And you'll see on your hand how it works. And then on the top, what I'm going to do is to take a little bit of ocean blue try it because that's got a bit more of a sort of a bluey green could have done it the other way around I could have put the ocean blue on and then soften it with the gray so it's just sort of mixing mixing eyeliner shades and you can do exactly the same when you put your eyeliner on you can change the shading of the eyeliner by softening it with eye shadow so for example I could take a little bit of taupe and my wedge brush number eight taking a bit of the taupe and I'm going to use that underneath so bring back brow bring back brow shape comes in three shades it comes in gray it comes in blonde and it comes in brown and you can even mix those to get the perfect shade for your brows so I today, I'm going to show you by putting on the blonde, this one, little tiny feathery strokes. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of the brown, which is a little tiny bit darker just in the areas where I just want that little bit of extra help. Maybe not necessarily even all over, but where I've got a few more gaps. So using both and then blending with my spoolie brush. Really important to use the spoolie brush at this stage, particularly if you've used two colors, but even if you haven't, this will just soften it. So if your eyebrows are sort of slightly more grey, but they've still got that little bit of a little bit of depth to them, you could mix the brown and the grey, and that would work really well. Blusher. I'm a great believer in mixing blushes. Um, very often I wear the peach cream, which I love. So let's put a bit of that on now. Sometimes I feel like I just want a little bit more colour. So I add on top of it a tiny bit of Desert Rose, which is a little bit darker, a little bit more colour. And likewise, if you are cooler, you might want to use the Petal Pink with the Rosy Glow. Um, you might even want to use the Rosy Glow with the um, peach cream. So mixing to get the perfect shade for you and your skin tone, just to make you look really healthy. So I find that that works because they're so blendable. They are a cream to powder formulation. You can easily, easily put one over the other and then just blend. And then I, I like to take my blusher brush number two and give that a little blend in and if you're warm tone coloring like myself what I sometimes do is also add in uh, to the mix a little bit of the bronzer actually over my blusher if you're cool I wouldn't necessarily do that I would use the bronzer 
before you do blusher, just as sort of sweeping it where you want to get sun kissed. But if you're warmer, then sometimes just that little hint of bronze actually over the blusher will just give it a lift as well. So again, don't be frightened in mixing your blushes to get the perfect shade for you. And finally, we come to lips. This is where you really can have fun. And before now, I have made my own personalised palettes um, of lipsticks using shade, favourite shades, mixing them together, getting an old paint palette, like a child's paint palette, and cleaning it and putting my lipsticks in and mixing to get the perfect shade. So I've done that. Um, you can even get yourself a little palette and mix lipsticks on your palette um, to create the shade for you. Likewise with the lip liners, um, I'm very often wear Roseberry, which is this one. But if I want a little bit of a stronger colour, I might put the Roseberry all over and then add a little bit of Strawberry and sort of blend the two in. So I've got a mix between Roseberry and Strawberry. Or I might put the Strawberry on first and then put a little bit of Roseberry on. So you can mix with lip liners and you can mix with lipsticks. And you can use your lip liners to tone down a lipstick. So if you're wearing a brighter lipstick, but you want it to be a little bit less bright, perhaps, for example, you could use, say, Soft Fig underneath um, Fuchsia, for example, and that will just tone down Fuchsia a little bit or underneath Tulip. So I'm just going to use Roseberry today. I've outlined my lips and now I'm filling in. So if I wanted a slightly more redder look but didn't want to go too strong, I would use a little bit of strawberry over the top of that. If you've got a favourite lipstick but you just maybe want to just change the colour, um, something I very often do is I, I love my coral, true coral lipstick. This one. But if I don't want it to be quite as bright, I will go over the top of it with a coat of Sunset Glow. And that just tones it down. So I'm going to do that now. If you find that lipsticks on you go more bluey, you can maybe take a warmer shade and go over the slightly blueiness to just tone that down and create the maybe more neutral look that you wanted. So you can have so much fun with lipstick mixing. I might want to use Tawny Beige as well. You know, that might be another option to go over it. Um, and you can change it yet again by adding a little bit of gloss. So I am now going to put some Cinnamon Kiss which is this one from the gorgeous Gloss Lip Shine. And that, as you can see, just changes the look again. So if you've got, say, for example, you want um, the new Pink Heather, you could then mix that with Tulip Pink just to make it a little bit brighter. Um, you could soften your fuchsia with tulip or even with dusky rose you can mix the two together and just just to personalize your lipstick um, and you might again depending on what what you're wearing you might want to to find the right color um, lipstick just to just to tone with 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 a dress that may you might have a, a perfectly shade of sort of peach or pink in that dress and you can't quite get it when your lipstick so if you mix two together either by putting one on then the other or by having a little palette or mixing it on your hand uh, and using the lip brush, you can really make your own personalized lipstick shade. So I hope that this has given you a few ideas. Um, you might already be just doing this intuitively. I think most of us do sort of mix things together, but just have a bit of fun if you don't, trying to mix things like eyeshadows, applying one eyeshadow on top of another to create your own personalized shade. Um, and maybe with brows, with blusher, don't think you've just got to use what is given to you. Mix, mix, and they'll last twice as, they'll last the same length of time, twice as long, so um, you're not using up products. Just mix, play, 
be your own professional makeup artist and have fun. You need a little bit of time to practice and do this, but once you get into it, just think of it as your little bit of creativity for the day. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any top tips yourselves on things that you have mixed together and found work really well for you, we would love to hear from them in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching and I really look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.